Using regular text to compose your document is fine in most cases. For something that requires more organization, though, you might want to try a table instead. This will help you type your content into columns and rows, rather than lines of text. To insert a table, all you have to do is go to Insert, Table, then move over the grid to select the number of cells you want. My table is going to be pretty big, seven columns by five rows. Now click, and you can start entering your data. To select a cell, you can either use your mouse or the arrow keys on your keyboard. Right now, I'm using the down arrow to make my way down this column. Adding more columns or rows to a table is easy. I'd like to try inserting one above the row that starts with Dylan. So I'm going to right click, and here you can insert a row above or below wherever your cursor is, or a column to the left or right. If we click Insert Row Above, a row appears above the Dylan row. Remember, that's where my cursor was. Alternatively, if you want to delete a row or column, all you have to do is select a cell in the range you want to delete. Now right click, then make your selection from the menu. Let's fast forward to the finished table with the entire schedule filled in. Now that the data is complete, I thought we'd take a look at some of the ways you can format your table in Google Docs. For example, you can modify your cell dimensions by clicking and dragging the borders in between. See how the symbol on the cursor changes? You can also change the alignment of your text by selecting the cells you want and then experimenting with the alignment options on the toolbar. I think centered looks best. Next, I'd like to add some color to my table by changing the background and the borders to something other than plain black and white. With your cells selected, just right-click anywhere on the table, then choose Table Properties from the menu. Here you can customize a couple different things. First, I'm going to change the background color to light yellow. Then, I'm going to choose a different color for the border. White may seem like an unusual choice, but I think you'll see what I'm going for in a minute. To change the size of the border, click the drop-down menu here. The default width is one point. If we choose something else, like 2.25, the border will be slightly thicker than before. So let's see what the table looks like now. We're almost there. I think I'd like to experiment with some different formatting on the top row to make it look a little more like a header. Again, just select your cells, then open the Table Properties dialog box. Now I'm going to select a different color for the background, then change the vertical alignment so the text is aligned precisely in the center of the cell instead of the top or the bottom. Now click OK, and I think that'll do it. That looks pretty good. As you can see, there are lots of ways to use and customize tables in Google Docs so they work for you and the information you want to display. Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life.